of the king, the king, you know it. King already, already, you know it. Top everything, everything. Hi, you guys. My name is AC Coquie. Welcome to my channel. It's a saying, welcome. I have another video for you guys today. I am doing a story time. Now, I didn't practice this. I really go over the story in my head about how it happened. So there might be a lot of cuts because I'm trying to like remember what happened. But I was kidnapped. I was kidnapped by my ex. Um, I mean, I wasn't really kidnapped, but I was kidnapped. Okay, you just have to like listen to the story and determine with me if I was kidnapped because, you know, I felt like, bruh, okay. I was kidnapped by dictionary terms, but I don't know. I guess I was too, I don't know if I'm too old to be kidnapped, but basically I had an ex-boyfriend who we were together for a year. It was a very up and down relationship. You know, a lot of good times, but a lot more bad times. But, you know, I, I'm i just like, I'm going back through my past and I'm trying not to be mad at myself for the things that I put myself through. You know, it was all part of the lesson. So it is what it is. I dated him. So um, we had just broken up. I had just crossed into my sorority and he was very jealous. Before we had even broken up, he was like, you're going to join the sorority and you're going to change up and um, you're, you know, you're going to leave me and then date other people or cheat on me and all this stuff. Very insecure. And I was like, I'm with you. I'm like, I've been with you for this long and I want to be with you. So... I don't know why you're feeling this way. So then he broke up with me. And then I was like, okay. I was sad about it. And like, we tried getting back together. And so we did. But then I broke up with him. And then he tried getting back with me. And by this time, I was, um, I had just crossed into the sorority. And then... My birthday comes and um, one of my sorority sisters throws me, she threw me this big birthday party. So um, he comes to the birthday party and he starts dancing with all these girls and all this stuff. And then he gets some girl's number right in front of me at my own birthday party. Like, <laughs> I, I just should have dropped it then, but... We went outside, we argued about it. He was just like, well, you did it to yourself. And I should have really just like cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Like, obviously he doesn't respect you. It's your birthday and he's treating you like this on your birthday. At your birthday party, actually, because on my actual birthday, he called me and asked for his things back or whatever. And I'm like, so, and he'd even say happy birthday first. And I was like, you do realize it's the day I was born, right? And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, this is so embarrassing. You know he did all that shit for attention? Yes. All of these things that he was doing was literally for attention. Like, he, he obviously, he probably, like, I talk about my birthday six months in advance. The, the whole world knows when my birthday is, so he knew when my birthday was. And he still, like, decided to call and say, oh, he wants his things back instead of wish me a happy birthday. Then he comes to my birthday party and does all that stuff with the girl. All for attention. And me, like a sucker, I took it and I argued with him and we went back and forth about it. Okay. Oh, well. And then he... This is like a week after my birthday party. We both calmed down about the situation, but I was just like, I'm done. I lost friends because of you. Um, I've just lost who I am and I don't like who I am when I'm with you. And I just don't want to do this anymore, right? And he's, 
he's just begging he's like i'm gonna change i'm gonna do better i'm gonna be better and i'm like you know what we had was great but like was it great at the times at the times that it was great or good it was really good but like i said when it was bad it was really bad and he was just very manipulative um very just like i mean yes i do have my own mind and i should have been able to like stop things when i saw it going too far or whatever but you know like i'm not making excuses for it but basically i was young and i was in love and i thought that this was like gonna be it for me i didn't really know my worth at that time and i thought oh this guy he loves me and so you know nobody else is gonna love me and um yeah so i settled but at that point i was just like no i kept saying no um he was over at my house we were having this conversation me and my friend were supposed to go to a party that night. I begged her to go because I, I was single. I, I was ready to dance, shake my butt, you know, have a good time. And he wanted to have this conversation. So I was like, all right, let's have it right before we leave. I don't know what more you want me to say. Um, and he still wanted to have the conversation. I was like, I got to go. I got to go to this party. And he was like, okay, can we continue to have this conversation when you're done? And I was like, okay, should have just said no, like it's done. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, once I'm done, I'll let you know. I'm probably not going to stay long. Um, I'll call you when I'm done. And so he said he's going to stay in the area. He lived like an hour away, but he said he was going to stay in the area, wait for me to be done. So, um me and my friend we go to the party and we're having a good time and he shows up <laughs> because he knows the person that's also throwing it um we have a lot of the same mutual friends so he comes to the party and he came and said hi to everybody and i'm like oh gosh like why are you here we're supposed to have this conversation after then he comes up to me and he's like okay let's go i'm ready to have this conversation i was like what do you mean you're ready? I'm not ready. And I came to this party with my friend and so I'm not leaving. So I had been at the party for like an hour and a half and then he's telling me it's time to go. And I'm like, the party's just getting started. I, I don't remember what time it was, but at this point people are just like now really showing up and stuff. And so I still had a good like two hours <laughs> in me and I wasn't ready to have this conversation. I was honestly going to push it till tomorrow and be like, actually, no. But he wanted to have it now. And I was like, no, I'm not leaving this party and I'm not leaving my friend. And he was like, okay well i'm about to leave and if i leave then we're done and i was like i guess we're done <laughs> i guess it's done and we're over with and then um he leaves and then five minutes later he calls me and he's like i'm in the car like can you just come outside and we have the conversation outside like i don't want to have it in the party and you don't have to leave the party but we'll just be outside and i was like okay my friend's occupied you know the party's going i'll just be in the car i'll have this conversation with him so i go down to the car and um we're sitting there and i asked him um so what's up <laughs> I asked him what's up and he was like he was quiet and I was like okay so you want to have this conversation but you're gonna be quiet then he starts the car and I'm like why are you starting the car and he said I want to go get something to eat at McDonald's Mc uh, no. McDonald's was McDonald's was just down the block, like two blocks away, literally. So I was like, you said we were going to stay here, but now you want to get something to eat. 
Okay, so he starts driving towards McDonald's. Then he passes McDonald's. <laughs> This is honestly not funny because I was scared and I was like, what the f is happening? And so he drives past McDonald's and I'm like, okay, dude, we've driven past McDonald's. Where are we going? And he's not talking still. Oh, hell, man. <laughs> we pass by. We're starting to get like onto the street area away from all the houses and I'm like, where are we going? Where are we going? Like take me back right now. Take me back right now. And he's still 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 driving off and I'm like, where are we going? Where are you taking me? Like I had no idea where he was taking me. You know, I start hitting his arm like come on come on like I don't know where I am going. I don't know where you're taking me. I didn't know if he was going to kill me. I didn't know if what was going to happen. I was just scared out of my mind. And um, I'm still like hitting his arm and I'm like, take me back. And I didn't want to grab the wheel because we could have ended up somewhere like dead. So yeah, so I didn't I didn't want to grab the wheel, but I was like hitting his arm. Like, let's go. Let's go back. Like, I don't I. I'm scared like you're scaring me and that's not like how is someone gonna want to get back together with you if you're scaring them like stop stop the car then he's driving towards my house and I realize that he's driving towards my house and I'm like you're stupid <laughs> first of all you're stupid because I don't even have my keys and you're trying to go and have this conversation at the house and so you're like I don't have my keys. Why are you driving towards my house? And I'm then I realize, like, okay, he's driving towards my house. And I tell him that. I don't have my keys. I don't know why you're going to my house. Like, I was thankful that it was just my house. I didn't know where we were going. So once I realize we're driving towards my house, and I I'm telling him, like, I don't have my keys. He's still going. And he's like, well, it is what it is. I'm taking you from the party. I'm not going to drive you back. And I'm like... I came to this party with my friend. I'm not gonna, like you've basically made me leave her and I didn't wanna leave her. I begged her to go in the first place and she's only there because I wanted to go and now you made me leave her. Like you need to drive me back. And he refused, he refused to drive me back. And then we're outside of my house, we're arguing hella loud. Someone tells us to shut up and and then, um, yeah, someone tells us to shut up, but we're still arguing and I'm like telling him to go back. Then I call, um, one of my friends, one of my guy friends from the party and who's also his friend. And I tell him what's going on. And I'm like, he took me from the party and I need to go like, I need to go back. I don't know why he took me. And so I give the phone to him and I'm like, you need to talk to him. <laughs> like, I don't know why I thought he would convince him because once my ex like has it in his mind, he's not going to go back. But I just thought anything would work at this point. So I give the phone to him and he's telling him, like take her back to the house, take her back to my house. Like, come on, you don't want to do things. You don't want to be stupid and do things like this. Like you could really get in trouble. He's still not listening to him, um, hangs up. Then the police come, cause I guess the person that told us to shut up probably called the police on us or someone did. I mean, we were, I was yelling pretty loud. Um, so, he the police comes they come to the car they get his id and he's like getting upset about it and trying to fight with the officer i was like just give him your damn id like he said he's not going to do anything he just wants to make sure like we're students and so um we both give him our id or i didn't have mine but he like ran my name or whatever and nothing popped up about me because I left the house with nothing on me. No keys, no wallet, no nothing. So I had nothing, no identification. 
And I was just sitting there while he was, um, while my ex was giving the police the, his identification. And I was just like, wow, like this is crazy. We've gotten to the point where cops are called. Like, I don't want any parts of this. I don't want to be in this anymore. This is crazy. This is toxic. This is not what I wanted. And I do deserve better. And that's when I had that realization, like, this is it. This is it. So after the police leaves, oh, and they see me crying, the police officer, and he's like, um, are you okay? And I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. And like, I think he was trying to see if I was really in distress, which I really was, but I just didn't want to get anyone in trouble. And I was honestly fine. Like, I knew he wasn't going to hurt me. And um, I just knew that I needed to get out of this situation, like being in a relationship with him. And so once the cop left, I told him that this is it. Like, you just... Like, I didn't want to get back together, and this was really... This was the last straw. This was it. I was done. Um, and, like, I appreciated him, and I just made him... I tried to make him feel as appreciated as I could, and, you know, um, he cried. I cried, and... I tried to go back to the party. I tried calling my friend to let her know where I was, but um, she had take. She thought that I left on purpose, and then that became a whole issue. And then I was just like, "And I'm losing more friends, and I'm not even with you. Like, <laughs> I'm losing friends. I'm losing." people that I care about, I'm not even with you, like this is done, I'm done. And it took a while for my friend and I to repair our relationship, but it, I, yeah, we did eventually. Um, but yeah, I, I was done with the situation, I was done with him, that was crazy. I didn't know where we were going, but um, we've talked years later we've talked and he apologized you know i was not perfect i did a lot of bad things in our relationship as well um that you know weren't healthy and so i apologize for the things i did i never cheated but i just did things that you know were not the best it just was not a healthy relationship so um yeah it is what it is we moved on i wish him nothing but the best he wishes me nothing but the best and we just will never probably ever get together again um and that's my story have you guys ever had a situation like this happen to you or been in a toxic situation that you got yourself out of like let me know comment down below let's have a discussion um i guess like a a support group or something just down in the comments and let's talk about it because it was a very scary scary situation and i'm just glad that i was able to learn from the situation and now like now I know my worth. Now I know the things that I want to see in a partner and what I want to see from myself. So I hope you like this story time. Thank you for watching. My name is AC Coqui. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. Love you guys. Bye.